morning guys it is day four day four and we are on our way to New York but we stopped at a hotel last night in Buffalo and they have a nice little fitness center here so we're up this morning uh, gonna do actually the 30 for 30 workout that's on the fitness Coliseum uh, group page that uh, Bree and Missy uh, demonstrated for us so we're looking forward to that 30 minute workout so we got <clears throat> jump squats we got sit-ups what else we got Are you tired, honey? I'm a little tired. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Okay, let's get it going. for 10 years and I always admired people that worked out while they were on a trip or on vacation I thought that takes commitment and dedication I think this is my first time ever doing it so whew, good little 30 minute workout now we're gonna get ready and finish our trip to Saratoga Springs anything to say let's go in the pool wanna go swimming let's go swimming Let's go swimming. All right, we are almost to our destination, but we were feeling a little lethargic, a little tired, and we're caffeine people. I had a headache. My wife had a headache, and we just uh, wanted some coffee, so we actually went to Starbucks, and we took our vanilla protein shake. We just got an iced coffee plain iced coffee, no sugar, and we mixed our vanilla protein shake with it, which we have to drink today, and it is delicious. Yeah, it's, it's like a treat. It's like a French vanilla latte. Yeah. It's really, really good. So it's good. It's a good pick-me-up, and I will probably get addicted to it. <laughs> yeah, so pro tip. Well, we're not pros. Amateur tip. Amateur tip. <laughs> Amateur tip. Go get some coffee. Vanilla mix it, protein mix shake. Mix it with your vanilla protein shake. You get your fix of your caffeine and you get your protein in hey everybody it is saturday mm -hmm. and saturday. we're headed to a baby shower the reason we came to new york we got up this morning and we did a little exercise i didn't do a full workout did some stretches and some exercises at the house had our breakfast we've had our shake and I've asked for the menu in advance at the shower, but we haven't received it. So I'm not 100% sure what to expect. We have made a list in our phones of what we can and cannot eat at this thing. So I know there's gonna be chicken there. Uh, we know what we're supposed to have for lunch. So we're gonna just kind of have to use the palm method that they gave us to kind of measure out our food. And, you know, we may be a little bit off, but the good thing about this is, um, you know, as long as we stay close to what we're supposed to do, it's a good thing, but it's a really nice place and the food is supposed to be amazing. amazing. I've had like five people say, why did you pick this week to start your healthy eating plan? <laughs> and I'm sure they're gonna have the most decadent desserts ever. Oh, for sure. They're gonna look and smell amazing and they're not going in my mouth. Me neither. <laughs> so last night we were walking through the mall and we walked by Annie Ann's and they have the pretzel dogs that we love. And so we both just decided to stop for a minute, take Ray. a little inhale, and then just keep walking. You know, <laughs> just enjoy the smell and then just keep moving. But, you know, life's about choices. And we've made a lot of choices in our life that we live with now. Uh, we chose to have six children, <laughs> which we would not change for the world. <laughs> But that, that <laughs> me and I, we, we chose to run our own businesses. And yeah. so means we chose a busy lifestyle and we made poor choices when it came to diet and, yeah. and uh, exercise. So now it's about making good choices for ourselves, for our children, so that we have a long life with them. Right. I mean, we were just talking, uh, my oldest daughter's 18. I mean, 
within five years, we could have grandbabies. And we'll be the coolest grandparents ever. Ever. But we just want to be healthy. You know, we just want to, again, as I've said this many times, it's not about how we look. It's not about how we look. It's about how we feel. And we just want to feel better. And we already do, like a weekend. I already feel better. I already feel less, like my clothes aren't as tight. Yeah. So that feels good. I can get out of bed without being in pain, which is amazing because I have back issues mm -hmm. and, and I've just been able to pop up out of bed. So just, I, just after one week. So it's been good. Yeah. Usually we kind of both have to slowly kind of get up and kind of Sit start, the, of start, start the then... process, but <laughs> we're feeling stronger. Uh, muscles are feeling good. My shirts are fitting so much better. Uh, I've lost a lot of bloat, I think, because of all the water intake, especially. Because you go potty eight times a night. <laughs> yeah, well, the first night I, went, I got up like 10 times. And then the second night was like seven, and then five, and then three. Last night was like two. So starting, I think my body's finally starting to adjust. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get to the point where I can just sleep. Now, when I lay down, I sleep great. Yeah, I've been sleeping really good. But just getting up constantly. So, we are now on our way there. We're gonna have a good time with some friends we haven't seen in quite a while. And they're having their first child. They tried for two years, almost three years, to have a baby and were not able to. Uh, went through all kinds of procedures and finally were able to get pregnant. And so we are super happy for them. We are so excited for their uh, journey into parenthood. They're both approaching, well he's approaching 40 and I think she's maybe in her mid thirties, um, but they're just starting out. And so we're excited for them. We know that that's going to really enhance their lives a lot because we love having kids. Yeah, it's fun. It's we don't miss the baby days though. Oh, diapers <laughs> oh. and car seats. Car seats. And... I literally remember the first day where we could get in the car and didn't have to. And everybody buckled themselves in. We literally like high-fived each other, like woohoo! Yeah, no car seats. I, I mean, there was car seats, but they could get in and buckle themselves. We remember that day, because there yeah. was a time where we had like three kids in car seats. Diapers. And, you know, vacation was not going on vacation. It was just taking care of your kids in another state. Right. Uh, so, we don't miss those days. We love the age our kids are now. And uh, so, we're, we're happy for them. And we're excited to see this spread that we're going to be able to probably only eat about 10% of. That's all right. But it'll be fun. It's worth it. It's worth it. All right, I don't know if you can hear us, but we are here at the baby shower. You can see this is the most fancy baby shower I've ever been to. Hey, there's Covet, there's Kunam. How you guys do it? So, yeah, we are here. Now, the food has been... There's a lot of good food. We haven't eaten most of it. And of course, the guests have insisted that we try everything. Which, which, yeah, they're walking around with trays, servers, and kind of making sure that we try a little bit of everything. Which we have not. We have been good. We took a little taste, but nothing, nothing full. And so, but it's been a lot of fun. Got to see a lot of people we haven't seen in years. And it's about 432 degrees. But I drank at least 10 bottles of water. This Saratoga water is amazing. You drink about 10. Too hot, honey? Yeah, lemon water. Lemon water? How many of you had? Like eight. <laughs> she has requested that after this we go find a pool and just jump in. Yeah, I think I'm down for that. So anyway, it's been a good time. Check out the party one more time. Definitely uh, not your typical baby shower, but I've been a blast. So congratulations, Daryl Lindsay. Hey, there's our friend Bill Taylor. We'll bring him on here. How you doing, buddy? How's the party going? Am I ruining something right now? No, we're just talking about the party, about the food choices okay. that they have done for us. Oh, very healthy, healthy. Healthy choices? Not too many healthy choices. Yeah. But it's been amazing. Did you show them the water? Yeah. We did. We did. We showed them. This is a sample of what most of the food has been, sliders and tacos. But we've done a good job. So, anyways. Been a good time, not your typical baby shower, but congratulations, Daryl and Lindsay, on your new baby. We're so excited for you guys. Congratulations. I just wanted to show you that our hotel hallway looks like we're in The Shining. <laughs> it's so scary. Stop doing that. Stop.
All right, good morning, guys. We are on the last leg of our trip, and we actually chose this hotel because of the fitness center that it has. Really nice fitness center, all kinds of machines to use. So, what are we gonna do this morning? I'm gonna do elliptical. Elliptical, I'm gonna do some bike, and then we're gonna both do a little bit of treadmill, probably do just a little quick 30 minute workout. And then they have a pool, so we're gonna do another 15 laps in the pool. And we're gonna hit the road and finish our trip on the way home. How you feeling, hon? Good. Overall, it's been a good trip. We've uh, done really well with the meals. Been a little bit of a challenge, but we've done well. Yeah. And uh, we're both feeling good. And uh, now we just gotta work out one more time. All right, we just got back to our room. We're gonna check out, head back home. We got in some cardio, bike, treadmill, or you did elliptical, and then a couple little weight exercises, and then we did about 10 laps in the pool. It's a big pool, so feeling good, headed home. Yes. Headed home. <laughs>